ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund and Nippon India Mutual Fund are tapping into the latent demand for silver investments with the recent launch of the silver exchange traded funds and fund of fund other fund houses like DSP HDFC and Mirai Asset will soon come out with their offerings too so does an investment in silver bode well for the retail investor in current times analysts say yes pointing to the metal's low but positive correlation with equities Chirag Mehta, senior fund manager, alternative investments at Quantum Mutual Fund, told Business Standard that around 70% of silver's usage comes from industrial applications. When economic growth is high, rising demand pushes its price up. So, while gold has a negative correlation with stocks, silver is more likely to work the other way around. While silver has declined 12.5% over the past year, experts expect it to begin performing again in the coming few months. The metal is trading at around Rs 60,000 per kg in key metro cities, but Naveen Mathur, Director for Commodities and Currencies, Anand Rathi Shares and Stock Brokers told Business Standard that the metal could reach a price of around Rs 67,000 in the coming few months. In the last decade, gold has definitely outperformed silver in terms of returns. So, experts suggest only considering silver investments as one option in a basket of commodities. For those considering investing only in silver, Experts suggest having a 10 year plus horizon. Business standard Sanjay Kumar Singh explains more. It is always preferable to invest in a basket of commodities that will give you a better hedge against inflation. When you invest in a basket, you are better diversified. So if there is a downturn in the demand for one commodity, that will be compensated for by the demand for other commodities. But at present, you do not have a passive fund that gives you exposure to a basket of commodities. One fund house has filed for a product that will give you exposure to both gold and silver within a single passive fund. And in future, let us expect that some fund house will give you exposure to an entire basket within a single passive fund. When you are investing, it is not ideal to invest to go through the jewelry route. Reason being that when you buy jewelry, you pay certain making charges. These could be 10% or even higher. You don't get compensated for the, these making charges when you sell the jewelry. In contrast, the cost, the annual cost, which is the expense ratio, on, a, on an ETF or fund of fund is very little. In ICICI Prudential's recently launched silver ETF, the expense ratio is 0.4% for the ETF. It is around the same, 0.43% for the direct plan of the fund of fund. And it is about 1% for the regular plan of the fund of fund. These are much lower costs compared to what you would end up paying in silver jewelry. Therefore, when investing in silver, when entering silver as an investment option, it is always preferable to take the financial route, that is an ETF or a fund of fund. The holding period for determining whether the, your capital gains are to be treated as long term or short term will be 36 months. If you have held the units of the ETF for more than 36 months, your gains will be treated as long term. If you have held them for up to 36 months, your gains will be treated as short term. Long term capital gains will be taxed at the rate of 26, at the rate of 20% with indexation. Short term capital gains will be taxed at your slab rate. Fund of funds will be taxed in a manner similar to ETFs. For those planning to invest in silver, you could benefit from an industrial upturn. One could allocate 5 to 10% of the pro cyclical component of their portfolio to it. Long term investors should take the systematic investment plan or SIP route to benefit from silver's volatility. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.